Awesome. 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 Hello, everyone. Just getting a little Brady Bunch view on. My name is Benny Wellington. Super thrilled to be here. See all your smiling faces. Uh, if, you if you can put your camera on, you don't have it on yet, feel free to chuck it on so we can see you. That's, that's uh, the magic of this Zoom thing that we can all connect from all, all corners of the planet. Uh, I'm an, my name is Benny Wellington. I'm so grateful to be here with you all. This is my third worldwide wonder. And, and I'm really stoked to have been invited to collaborate on this project. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the 24 hour relay that is the World Wide Wonder. Celebrating mornings around the world with the legends at Creative Morning and Street Wisdom who've come together to really co-create this magic that we've been experiencing for many hours already. Some of us have been on here for many hours. I'm seeing some faces that I've seen from the uh, welcome, the very first, the very first session. I'd like to just say um, I'm dialing in from Bunjalung country, a place called, beautiful place called Mullumbimby in Australia and acknowledge the elders past, present and emerging. And as my mentor would tell me, when you acknowledge the land and country here, you have to actually say what you're actually acknowledging. It's not just a lip service thing. So I'm going to acknowledge just looking outside. There's been a lot of rain. We've had some pretty hectic rain up here in, in the Northern Rivers. Uh, over the last months and months, um, but I'm just acknowledging the beauty of country and and the the resilience of it and the resilience of the humans that live up here, and also the birds and the the animals. There's lots of birds on the property I live on, and and they uh, wake me up every morning so I can uh, have my creative mornings. So yeah, and uh, grateful that you're all here with us. Uh, as many of you know because I see some faces from Creative Mornings. Creative Mornings is all about living a, create, a courageous. I just invented a new word. Courageous and creative, courageous. Anyway, forget that one. A courageous and creative life. And today they have a heart-centered community or heart-forward community that spans the globe in 224 cities and 67 countries. I think I saw Tina there before, the founder. Uh, amazing, what an achievement. And there's something, something that I feel is kind of like very similar with street wisdom and creative mornings from what I've experienced so far is, is that people experience this and then they, it's like the seed and then they can go and, and create them in their own cities. And that's, that's how you create a movement. And we've got two movements colliding here today. So this is the seventh session of the World Wide Wonder. And we're gonna spend the next hour and a half exercising our hearts, minds and imaginations. And I would call this getting frothy. It's uh, Australian surf slang or potentially US surf slang. There's a bit of debate around it. But I love to think about this expansiveness as exploring the frothy edges of where potentially it might spill over. That's where I find the most inspiration, find the most flow. At the heart of this experience is what we call a walk shop. Everyone loves their puns here. And so we're going to get up and walk outside, but you can also stay inside. If you're going to stay inside, please turn your camera off. If you're going to go outside into the abundance, flip your camera around because we've got some beautiful faces here, but we'd love to see where you're cruising around to. So, 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 thanks for everyone who's turned on their cameras. It's lovely to see your faces, nodding faces, like one of those um, Taco Bell dogs. Uh, you know, the nod, 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 nod. Um, I remember that from when I was traveling in the US. I had one. Uh, so yeah, uh, a beautiful warm welcome. And if you have something in front of you that you'd like to share, I have this Larry lamp that I shared last time and um, I'm gonna share it again. But if you have something, you know, that's caught your eye, it just spins and makes a noise too. Wow, um, oh, I nearly broke it. It's probably an antique, it's not my house. Um, whoops. So yeah, of course, feel free to share because these things are very inspiring to us. And uh, you know, there's so much out there, so much out that uh, we can tap into this shared archive of knowledge um, that we are creating here. So we're gonna have some resonance afterglow that you can carry forward into your, into your life. And we'll be recording this session. Well, it is already recording. So, uh, so yeah, just wanted to acknowledge that as well and really just explore so we can get the absolute best out of this experience. Awesome. So 
in case you've just tuned in, dropped in a little bit late. That's all good. Welcome. This is the Big Worldwide Wonder, brought to you by Creative Mornings and Street Wisdom. That's my radio voice, in case you're wondering. Uh, this is a 24-hour bonanza of creativity and joy, celebrating mornings around the world. Mornings are my favourite time of the day. I just want to get up and go surfing. That's when it's quieter. Um, so I love I love mornings, the best time for creativity. Also, the right at the end of the night for me, which is quite annoying because I want to go to sleep, but there's this annoying creativity that taps at my head right at the end. Anyway. That's for another story. But so for the next 15 hours, we'll be traveling westwards around the world until we end up pretty much back where we started a whole day later. And each session involves a, a street wisdom led workshop by our fantastic facilitators from across the planet. Um, but before we get started, we have a message from a very, very special guest. Um, but before, before we get started, <laughs> And before we go to the Atlanta Creative Mornings chapter, which I'm really excited to speak to because I think there's a birthday happening, some, some radness is going down. We're going to hear from a very special guest who's going to share an insight in their, into their approach to creativity to inspire us as we wander. So that sounds pretty bloody delicious. So for this session, I'd love to uh, welcome Sam Furness. Uh, and Sam is always searching for extraordinary creative ideas in ordinary places. That's the name of the game today and bringing them to life in adventurous and collaborative ways. Sam worked in the music industry on global campaigns for artists like Mumford and Sons, Keane, Jack Garrett, Greta Ray and Tom Chaplin, some rippers in there. Now he's freelance helping artists, individuals and organisations bring their stories to life. And he created Channel 12, a space where he explores different forms of creativity through a series of ongoing cultural experiments. This is, this sounds very powerful. Yes. Okay. Let's see, let's hear from Sam. Hello friends. My name is Sam Finesse and it's a pleasure to be out here with you all today having a little worldwide wonder. I'm here in Finsbury Park in North London, not far from where I live. It is an absolutely gorgeous evening. Look at that. Aww. <laughs> and look, I'm a big Street Wisdom and big Creative Mornings fanboy, so it's really a pleasure to be asked to come and share some thoughts with you today and accompany you for a couple of minutes on your walk. Now I've got a few thoughts, a few ideas that I want to share with you while we're having this little walk together. And one is about things that I think we need to find better ways to do. So I think we need to find better ways to appreciate the world from perspectives that aren't necessarily our own. Um, I fear that sometimes we live in quite a binary world and we as human beings are so so far from binary we are a constellation of of ideas of, of references of experiences that we could never ever ever just be one thing so why should we ever expect other people to just fit into one category um, so i think we need to find better ways to open ourselves up to new ideas and even if that feels a little bit uncomfortable a little bit challenging sometimes whether it's creating spaces for this to happen or platforms for this to happen, I think that's something that is really, really important in this world. So we're actually in my favorite part of the park now, this big kind of tree-lined boulevard. It doesn't quite capture the grandness on this video. Uh, and they're some of my favorite trees, the London plane tree. I could honestly talk to you about these trees for hours and hours and hours. I'm not going to, but I could. What I want to talk to you about is something that excites me on a creative level. And that is being bad at as many things as possible. Probably asking why would you want to be as bad as many things as possible? And it's because being bad at as many things as possible means that I have tried as many things as possible. The path to being good at something unavoidably starts with being bad at something. I've noticed a pattern over the years of constantly putting myself in these new situations that 
some of my best ideas are born not long I've, after I've put myself in a completely new situation. There's something about the change of sensory information, the change of rhythm, the change of ideas that illuminates a kind of a new way of thinking, new way of being inside me too. And repeating this pattern has made me reframe the idea of being a beginner from worrying to wonderful, no matter how big or small the kind of the beginner moment is. And I have this personal philosophy that 50% of every idea out there, 50% already exists within us. The other 50% is outside of us. And it is our job as creative beings, makers of this world, to get out there and find the other 50%. So get out there, go and try new things, meet new people, go to new places, put yourself in strange and funky situations because you may just change your perspective on things just a little bit and find a new way to understand somebody else from a different perspective and you may just meet your next great idea. And I tell you what, you'll know when you found it because it feels just like a snap. Whoa. Yeah, Sam. That was rad as. I actually just, that I just had a full flashback because that's where I used to live, right near Finsbury Park. Spent a lot of time in there having barbecues, drinking, coming up with creative ideas. And one time I actually sat in the middle of the park with my creative uh, book from advertising and stopped passers-by to ask them if they thought it was good or not and how I could improve it. Super awkward trying to find that edge of where, you know, we can learn. So uh, Finsbury Park, potency for creativity and uh, all those things like Sam mentioned. Awesome. So now I have the great pleasure to pass over to my buddy Krista who is part of the Creative Mornings HQ team and uh, looking forward to connecting with you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm also going to share a special object or objects just to ground my room. Um, These are my daughter's books. It says love, hearts, and hugs, which we all could use a lot more of. So I'm going to share that. Um, And I just want to acknowledge Sam Furness's video. I love his really wise words, you know, the path to being good at something unavoidably starts with being bad at something. I definitely can learn from him and learn from that. So, you know, like him encouraging us us all to go out there and get out of our comfort zones for sure. Anyways, my name is Krista McDonald and I am the partnerships manager here at Creative Mornings. I have been with this thoughtful and heart forward community for about six months now. I feel like I've been here forever. Um, I have a true family here and I, a true global family, in fact. Um, and I am reporting live from what was originally rainy, but now the sun has actually poked its head out, which is just lovely. And I'm, I'm just looking out the window and admiring the sunshine. And I just want to say, like, how magical is this that we all get to be here together um, and present with one another? I have the pleasure of representing the communities waking up at this hour for this wander, in particular, this seventh wander. It's some of us, our Australian and Korean Creative Mornings chapters. The Brisbane, Australia chapter, as you see pictured here, they're all very smiley and someone has their hands up. They're clearly love and life. Our Melbourne, Australia chapter. I'm not sure how the photographer got this photo, but it's pretty magical. It really captures the room. Our Seoul, South Korea chapter here. And just want to welcome you again. And thank you guys all for waking up with us. I know some of you, you know, like me, it's in the afternoon. Um, It's morning for some people, but it doesn't matter. We're all here together just to enjoy each other. And if you're curious what cities are participating in this 24-hour wander, you can go to www.theworldwidewander.com. And if you haven't already, we want to see where you're tuning in from. Where are you Zooming from? Uh, Please take the time to rename yourself with the city or just simply add in the chat. Again, it's what you're feeling in this moment. No pressure there. 
And now I want to expand on why we call Creative Mornings the engine of generosity. I know Tina's on the on the call, and this is her tagline that we now spread out to the world. Um, and I want to acknowledge just what makes our events so special, warm, and welcoming. So every single month, usually on a Friday, or I like to call it a Friday, who doesn't love a Friday? A crew of hundreds of volunteers roll out of their beds bright and early, working tirelessly to put on an event for their community. They give a lot, and we're very thankful for that. Here is our Sydney chapter making it happen here. That means, you know, they're organizing speakers, the volunteers, coffee, breakfast, venues, partners, and other special elements that make the event special for their community. Here's our Jiju South Korea chapter in a stunning venue here. I'm very jealous, I wanna visit. And what's really important and that I want to underline several, several, several times is that these events are free and accessible to all. Look at our Honolulu chapter, doing what we do best, having fun. Who doesn't love a, a photo op? And we here at Creative Mornings believe that everyone is creative and we all have something unique and special to offer to the world. Every single one of you, all of us, especially this gentleman and the unicorn um, he is not really floating on, but sitting on. In some cities, you'll have the opportunity to pitch an idea to an entire room, a business idea, hear a local musician, or find a special someone to collaborate with, a friend, a foe. Um, there's something for everyone, and you're guaranteed to be surrounded by a diverse group of creatives right in your community. And if you travel, hands up if you travel. Woo -woo. Part of your itinerary can be to discover a Creative Mornings event in over 200 cities in nearly 70 countries. That's right, 200 cities in 70 countries, so global. You can find a friend anywhere. So that's a sneak peek into how we dance here over at Creative Mornings. And if you don't have a local chapter, we strongly encourage you to start one within your community. You can read more on our website, creativemornings.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click the Start a Chapter link. And as Benny teased a little bit earlier, you all are in for many special treats during this event, but right now you're in a very in for a very special treat. We have Amina Brown Owen from our Atlanta chapter joining us live from her 11th, from the chapter's 11th year anniversary event. And apparently there's a DJ. So I'd love to um, chat with Amina and welcome. Hey y'all, you probably saw me running here. Um, it started to rain right as our call was starting here. So I don't know if you all can see, we're kind of everyone's under a pavilion here now, but it is it is raining. <laughs> it poured down Thank here, just like- Thank goodness for the pavilion, right? Always good to have a yeah. bath. Yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. You're still smiling, that's a good sign. Yeah, people are still here. Uh, we're at um, a local place here called King of Pops where they make popsicles. And so we are giving away 111 popsicles today to celebrate our 11th birthday. So people are here having drinks and hanging out. So it's good. Fabulous. Sounds fabulous. And um, I'd love to just get to know you and, and your you know, connection to Creative Mornings better. How did you get involved with Creative Mornings? So Blake Howard uh, founded this chapter 11 years ago since we're celebrating our 11th birthday. And Blake and I knew each other from working in a nonprofit space. And so um, I knew him. And so I started coming to the events and felt really inspired. And in my day job, I perform poetry. I'm a spoken word poet. And so Blake said, hey, would you come to do some poetry creative mornings? And I was like, yeah. Then a couple more years passed. And he was like, hey, would you be a speaker? And I was like, yeah. A couple more years passed. And he was like, hey, do you want to come and see? And I was like, yeah. And then like a year ago, he was like, hey, you can do this. Like, that's how I got here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you've literally, I think, taken every role uh, possible. Congratulations. That's incredible. It looks sure. like you're cutting out just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. okay, I can hear you. Do you have a speaker oh, okay. outside of yourself, because you've probably been a speaker, that sticks out to you or, or really was impactful for you? Hmm. Uh, man, I think one of our favorite speakers was Fahamu Peku. He's a visual artist here in Atlanta. And uh, he was really inspiring. And we also had a quarry who was OK Cello, um, play cello as our speaker. Uh, so that was fabulous. Those are two of my favorites. 
Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And last and certainly not least, what is your favorite part, or part of the Creative Mornings community? Oh man, I think my favorite thing about our Atlanta community is just the willingness to want to do things for the community out of the love. We have a team of over 25 volunteers doing this event every month. These are people giving the gift of their spare time. And to do that so that other creative people can feel like seen and heard and loved is probably the best thing to me. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, thank you for taking time from your fabulous party to grace us with your presence. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate everything that you do and um, enjoy. Go dance. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Have a good time. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to pass the walking stick. I love that joke. I don't know why. I think it's just a great joke. Uh, walking stick back to Benny. I enjoy your jokes, Krista. I enjoy them a lot. Try over here. Try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to uh, Amina and Krista for that that yarn. Love a good yarn too. And um, congratulations on the eleventh year. What a celebration! I reckon there's parties going off all the time. Sounds like in creative morning. So, got to get around it. Uh, okay. So is everyone ready? Because it's time for our workshop. We're going to exercise our imaginations, open up our hearts, our minds, our souls, explore the frothy edges. So make sure if you're tuning in from your phone, I think I mentioned it before, but um, if you're going to be walking around outside, flip the camera around, um, grab your shoes, grab your headphones, grab your extra battery pack if you need it and head outside wherever you are. It sounds like it's raining everywhere. So maybe take an umbrella if you're going to do that. Actually, literally everywhere, it sounds like it's raining. Um, but yeah, without further ado, you're in for a massive treat. You're about to experience the magic of street wisdom by one of our amazing street wisdom facilitators from Mexico City, Sarah Camona. So welcome. Let's pass it over to you. Sorry, Sarah, I think I need to unmute you. You can't do it just yet. One second. Thank you, co-host. Okay, sorry about that. You're going to mute then. Yeah, here. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Great. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Sara Carmona from Mexico City. Thank you, Benny, for letting me um, get the stick, as Krista said. I'm really excited to be here with you. I don't have... Um, a rainy afternoon, I was just, uh, I told the, the team before that I'm, last night we have a, like a big earthquake, so not rain for earthquakes. I really go for the rain, but well, I mean, this big city where these things happen. So I'm really excited to be co-hosting this uh, Street Wisdom workshop with you. A good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. Uh, I saw that there are many people from Australia. I lived in Australia one semester when I was studying uni. So I'm really excited to be sharing somehow with that beautiful place that I used to live before. And for all of you who haven't been to a, a workshop before, first I'm going to let you know a little bit about what is street wisdom, um, like to, to start with this, with this event. So street wisdom is about recognizing that the streets we, we usually just walk on every day can be an amazing place to play and to wonder and to sort some of our things out. Um, street wisdom is in 84 countries now and counting and it works like whatever you are. It, it can be if you are a teenager, if you are a CEO, if you are a grandma, like whoever can go out and just have a, a play uh, for a little bit. We're doing this for an hour, more or less, but it usually takes three hours. So uh, pre-pandemic times when we used to do this before, I, I've been doing uh, street wisdom for maybe since 2017. And we used to go out, it used to, to last three hours. So it was a, a bigger event than the one we're having today. But you'll see that it's just a perfect tool to get into your, your life and then just get used to it and, and, and use it every day. As I've said before, I live in Mexico City. So having this tool actually made me like my city more because I was in these big chaotic streets all the time, like 
being um, like feeling invade, invaded all the time. But now with these two, it's like, okay, I feel like I'm on a quest all the time. Like what is the street giving out to me today? So I, I feel really excited to be sharing this with you today and to be part of this, um, of this community one, once more. So we usually see the streets as a place where we go from point A to point B, but we don't usually pay attention to what, what happens in between. So this is a, a moment for you to experience that, like to, to see what happens when you pay attention to everything that happens, not going into a, a destination, but just making the destination, the walk itself. Also the streets can give us um, like a very special place where we can experience having a different identity, like, like being really ourselves. Like when we go towards our school, at school, we are the students, but in the streets, we're not so much. We're just like kind of uh, somewhere in between. So that part of having this open identity can also help us find different answers. So that's why streets also take uh, like, a, like a really important part of all of this. Uh, also, streets take us back to our bodies. Um, yeah, it, we usually walk through the streets. So we are so used to being in our minds that having a special place that root us to, to our bodies can be really helpful. So that's why we also love streets. And because it's a really great place to have a conversation with the environment. Like we have forgotten that not everything is on a book or on a manual. We can just go and talk. Like I'm really a, a dream nerdy. Like I love everything about dreams. And sometimes I do that, like what happens if I go to the street, if that, if like that was my dream, if, if that's what I was dreaming, why, I, why I'm seeing this dog and not any other dog or why I'm listening to this conversation and not any other conversation. So that's an, like an invitation I'm doing to, to you, like my special ingredient is like treat this as if, if, if it was a dream for you, like what he, what he was going to tell you. Okay, so now for the technical part, the event or the session will be divided into three parts. The first one is a, what we call the tune-up. So it will be three small uh, like exercises for you to start entering this other world, like being in another kind of, of, of space within you. The second part is called the quest. So it's actually when you are going to be out wandering the, the answer for your question. And the third part is the sharing. We want everybody of you to be sharing what happened. Maybe just one word, maybe if you can share an image, maybe if you can take back something that you find and share it to us, we'll be really, really grateful if you do that. But whatever comes up, the sharing is like the special part when we as a community uh, tell what happened outside. So that's how it will be um, like operating, okay? Sounds good. Great. So uh, before we start, as Benny has said, you can do, we really encourage you to go outdoors, but if it's raining or if you cannot, like if, it not, if it's not easy for you to take, for example, your mobile or whatever, you can stay inside. For that, we ask you to turn off your camera and just like be tuned to your, to your other senses, like not be so aware of, um, of the site, like really be open to whatever everything else is happening. Or you can even, um, if, if you wanna go outside, but not necessarily take your mobile, you can leave it there and maybe put an alarm for whatever minutes I'm going to, to be guided at you with, and then come back for the sharing, okay? But we really encourage you to, to be either outside or, or, or inside. Um, okay. So to begin, I would really ask you to just take a couple of, uh, of breaths, like to, to be here, like to, to bring you back from wherever you are. If your mind is somewhere else, if you're stuck with work or with anything, like just breathe in and breathe out to start telling your body you're here, that you wanna be part of this that you're gonna be, that you're maybe curious about what's going to happen. And uh, we're going to start, as I said, with the tune-up. I'm going to give you really brief instructions and every tune-up is going to last two or three minutes. You don't have to worry about the time. I'll be telling you whenever that happens. 
but the instruction be, would be as simple as, for example, follow all the red things. So if I said follow all the red things, you will go through your room or you will go through the streets and follow everything that you see red, maybe a flower, maybe a sign. And you will do that for two or three minutes, okay? And then I'll give you a second instruction and then I'll give you a third instruction and that would be our first part of the session. So the first instruction is the following. Be drawn to what attracts you and notice what doesn't. I'm gonna say that again. Be drawn to what attracts you and notice what doesn't attract you. So for this one, I would really recommend like to, to feel like a child. Like I have a, a small nephew and when he was less than two, two years, we would do a walk that would usually take me five minutes. It would take us almost one hour because he was like walking wherever he was feeling he would like to walk and he was watching everything he wanted to watch. Like trying to do that for two or three minutes, like walk and like be curious and allow yourself to be drawn to what attracts you, okay? So I'll take your time, see you in two to three minutes. Okay, how that goes. Welcome back. The next one, the next instruction is the following. I really like this one. Um, last couple of, a couple of weeks ago, I took a, a special workshop on creativity and they made us have a, like a hello kiss to a friend in eight minutes and we were like how, how i'm going to do this like in eight minutes it's too long but everything that happened between you 
getting to the person, giving a, a, a kiss on the cheek and then going back. Like for eight minutes, I would really recommend you to do that exercise. It's amazing. Like you can really watch all the beauty that we usually doesn't, we, we usually don't see just because we are too fast all the time. So I really like this instruction. The following instruction is slow, slow down, slow right down. Like everything you do, your breath, your walk, your feelings, your thoughts, everything, slow down, slow down. And even then a little more, slow down. So for three minutes, you do that. I'll let you know. Okay, how did it go? I hope you enjoyed it. The third tune-up, it's the following. See the beauty in everything. Like, and actually it's not seeing, but sense the beauty in everything. Like it's feeling, noticing everything that's really beautiful out there. And not only on the easy things to see the beauty, but also on the things that are not so um, beautiful to begin with. And for that, we recommend you to put like gratitude in the back of your head. Like if we put it as a filter, everything can come, can become beautiful quite easy. So for the next following minutes, um, see the beauty in everything, okay? I'll see you here.
Perfect. So stop a little bit where you are. Take a look around if you see, if you start to see things differently, if you feel yourself a little different. It's just because we took the time for this tuna and now you're prepared to do the, your quest. So um, like I said, think of a question that you'd like to, to have fresh answers to it. It can be a question that's been like uh, in, your, in your head already, or you can have like um, these questions that are available for everyone. Like if there's something you need to know that you don't already know, or maybe you can ask the street how to do something in a different way, or how can you get better at anything specific or what's next for you in your next stage? Like these are questions we encourage you to, to do, or if you have a, a specific one, you can also wander the street with that question in mind. We recommend you to keep it like a mantra, like do the, like these things you've been doing before, like slow down and see the beauty and everything with a question now in your head. And that will give you time to, to start uh, like gathering things from the street. Like if there is a special sign, maybe a special smell, like be drawn to it. Like, like if you were on a, on a treasure hunt, like what's the next step? What's the next sign? Where should I go next? And for this, I really recommend you to, to let your body tell you what to do, not your mind. Like, give a, a rest to your mind for the next 20 minutes. Like there's actually a, a, a therapy that's called authentic movement. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's like taking the time to let your body tell you what to do, where to walk, what pace do you want to take? Like all our story is embodied here. So our body knows more than we allow it to, to tell us. So this would be like 20 minutes for you just to be there with your body and letting it tell you where to walk, what to watch, what to smell. So this would take maybe 20 minutes. We're going to give it 20 minutes for the quest. Um, before it ends, like the three minutes, I will give you a three minute reminder uh, when the quest is coming to an end. And there is something that I've learned from Stuart Wisdom since my first walk. And it says that wisdom doesn't usually shout, it whispers. So take the time to, to listen to what uh, the streets are whispering to you. Um, as we said before, if you are outside, you can turn on your, your mobile for us to see where you're wandering. We would like to see all the streets you are walking through. If you're inside, that's, that's okay. But if you are on the outside, we really like the video to, to be turned on, okay? So enjoy it, have fun, be curious, allow yourself to, to be here now.
Probando, probando.
Okay, so now you have three more minutes to keep wondering, to keep asking your question. And I'm going to ask you then when you get back, bring one thing, maybe one object, one memory, one vision, one thing that might be an answer to your question for you to share. Three more minutes. Okay, we're passing our quest now. We're just making a pause. Maybe you can continue later or tomorrow or whenever you feel like it. But for now, we have 15 minutes left to share. What was it about? How was it? How are you feeling right now? If you got any answer, you can do it on the chat. You can write whatever, how it was. Or you can turn on your camera and maybe wave for me to know you want to speak. We would really like to, to know how it went, what insights you've got. Or maybe if you didn't get any, but how was the, the experience? How, how are you feeling right now? Uh, Sarah, I have a small enough room that I went ahead and uh, allowed people to unmute. So if anybody wants to go ahead and unmute and share, uh, please feel Thanks. welcome. Thanks, Kyle. So you can unmute yourself in case you want to. Don't be shy. Come on. Or even just a word, if you want to type a word on the chat, how it went. Okay. 
<laughs> it was lovely to see some of the videos of people walking, wasn't it? Yeah. Sarah? Yeah, Helen and Lira, thanks. Really it nice. was very yeah. lovely, yeah. We've got some words in the chat. Mm -hmm. like Edges Lira. and overlaps. Lira might be there. Let's have a look. Relaxing. Still wondering, Lira, yeah. <laughs> Love yeah, that. when I knew that it was only like a quest for 20 minutes, it was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. But it's so, so like, it's not enough, I think. So yeah, keep wondering. And Lyra said, it's so nice to rediscover familiar places. That's so nice. Hmm. Helen, in which port are you? If you can type or let us know. I'm curious. Sydney. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, so while anyone else feels um, encouraged to, to let us know how it went, I just want to add that this tool is for you to take, like for whenever you feel like doing this. You can find it in, um, in different uh, social media. There are audios available for you to be followed by, or you just have like the basics. You can do it by yourself. And you can also tell others about it, like share it, share it with others. And we have um, how many, Philip? Uh, this is the seven. So we have nine more sessions to go. Uh, so maybe they can catch up. They're still, and this is free, this is for everyone. You can still um, sign up, get this link, share it with others. If you feel like this can be useful for whomever you, you feel. And also we would like to remind you that you walk into the outside world, but in, also into your inside world. So that is like the, the most important part, like to, to listen to yourself, to, to be curious about yourself, to like it, it's like if you were telling something you needed to know so yeah just take your time to to get those answers they don't usually come that fast but um like keep your instincts alive like keep your your nose telling you where to go hmm. sarah just well um we'll see if anyone else will will share. Um, will you tell us a bit about your own experience of street wisdom? Any, sure. um, any sharings that you've, you've had yourself? Yes, like for me, like, I don't know why, but I like it more, like I like more to guide it than to do it. Like I really enjoy it, like I, I, I enjoy doing it, but guiding it, like being like the witness of how the person starts and how they they finish for me it's like the most uh, precious part and i've been yeah witness of like uh decision making to business for example there was a guy that didn't know like what um what road to take and he came back like saying i'm going to be a florist like like it was so clear for him and when it, but it was like just for him when he told us what he saw or what he felt it was like eh, I'm not sure like even a friend like was really scared like aren't you afraid that he's going to put like a, a new business just out of a three-hour workshop that you guided like you don't feel responsible for that and I was like no because for me it didn't make sense but it makes all the sense to him like it was his it was revealed to him not not for me 
like for me it would have been like yeah okay flowers but for him it was like i i have to be a florist like right now so i haven't talked to him but all, last time I, I knew he he was still into into it so yeah it's just like this amazing space for us to to be guided by i don't know if it's ourselves uh universe like however you understand it but for me, it's always about creating these spaces um, to get in touch with one, with oneself. Beautiful. We can see Ginger there making a... That is Ginger, isn't it? Was that, is that another? That no, is Ginger. This is Ginger. Who's <laughs> <laughs> done two wonders today. Probably there's a few more coming up. Yeah. Ginger wants to do another wonder, clearly. <laughs> The best the, the best tool for wandering is to, is to get a dog no, for sure yeah yeah it's a great excuse <laughs> you, you never quite end up where you expect you always end up at a dumpster so that's that's the answer yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much helen you it says you, you've just said your battery's about to die but thank you so much for for being Thanks, with, Helen. And for sharing your view. It was amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So anyone else wanted to share anything special about this session? Casey. I can, yeah. Um, I admittedly was not wandering, but I was cooking dinner. At, um, and <laughs> but I was listening. And something that was interesting was like the things that were getting me excited about like chopping and um, like the colors of the vegetables. I was like, it was it was really interesting to do that while cooking because um, I think cooking is such like a exploratory wandering experience. So it's funny that you can apply this to literally anything. Oh, nice. Can I ask what were you cooking? Yeah, it was like an eggplant salad with uh, peanuts and shallots and it was really good. Mm, I love eggplant. Nice. <laughs> Not everyone does love eggplant, so. Uh-huh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Casey, for sharing. And um, Pete shared a great line it's changed my way of thinking for when i walk around my neighborhood which is amazing mm. i don't know if you want to want to talk more to that pete we love we love what you're saying mm -hmm. thank you pete yeah, good morning from brunswick hi thanks for, for guiding us through this sarah unfortunately i wasn't able to go outside because i'm actually on puppy duty at the moment um because we just got a little puppy Oh. But yeah, but I was listening to, but I was listening to all your guys' steps and being able to now walk out and just just start, it's going to look slightly different because I'm going to start noticing little things a bit more. Yeah. And yeah. where I live, there's lots of interesting things, and now I can actually stop and pause and think about them, maybe more depth. Hmm. Nice. Thank you, Pete. And as I said, you can take uh, like um the next session or maybe just take it with, like with yourself whenever you want like take this as something you can you can use every day it's really really amazing how exactly everything changes when you go out curious like when you use the streets not only as the as a as a way to take you to the, your destination but as part of whatever you're living to it's really amazing thank you thank you Okay, anyone else? Or Philip, if you want to add anything? Ooh, well, I, I, I'd like to, I'm going to read Simona's. A great way to see and experience <laughs> unexpected. Loved receiving your beautiful sharings. Ah, uh, now she has to, 
go and thanks us and has and wishes us all a great rest of the day night anything well we <laughs> wish the same to you nice. thank you but i think that's a great line a great way to see and experience the unexpected um mm -hmm. i think that's that's what i get out of street wisdom um i said on a previous session that for me it gets rid of everything like the commute i no longer have a commute it's hmm. just a, a fascinating engagement with um lived experience and reality uh, mm. I don't have to I don't just go and get milk anymore you know it's like an opportunity to ask ask a stranger a question that's going on for me <laughs> in the right you know in the right way done in the right way you can do that well <laughs> <laughs> um, you know your um, strangers are teachers etc so yeah it's yeah um, I, I just I just it's changed everything in terms of um those really everyday things are like really magical like can mm. become magical it's not every time of course not um but yeah. definitely you can increase it right yeah 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 totally yeah thanks Peter. okay so benny if you like to add anything if not i think we can thank every everyone for being here for sharing this white wonder with us. Thank you, Sarah. That was great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, and super appreciative of you of you showing up with what's going on at home there and, and sending love to all the people in Mexico City and and the surrounds. Um, yeah, hope it's uh, less rocky and um, yeah. I'd love to, uh, yeah, just invite one last one last time. If anyone wants to pop one word in the chat, that would be awesome. One word, something that they might be just tucking into their pocket to take away with them from this experience. Could have been inspired by that last conversation that we just had, even. Feel free to drop something in there. Um, and if you loved your experience today, if you loved your experience, which I'm sure you did, sounds like people did from the chat, um, feel free to share the website, which is the worldwidewonder.com forward slash share forward slash your dash story. And you can write a bit more of an elaborate one. There's some crackers on there. That blog's been around for a long time. And that's one of the first things that got me really interested in the street wisdom movement was other people's stories. So feel free to share that. And even if you go out and do another one and, you know, Maybe for you, Pete, that might be the, the jam. Uh, and feel free also to share on social media, wherever you do that thing. Um, drop in the hashtags. And yeah, if you've got any friends that you think might be keen, because this thing's going for a lot longer, um, get them to sign up at theworldwidewonder.com. That was a nice rhyme. Wonga, wonder. Um, so we have plenty more ahead of us in, on this 24 hour bonanza. And the next worldwide session will be starting shortly. And we'll be visiting our friends in Singapore, the Creative Mornings chapter over there, which is bloody awesome. So stay tuned. Uh, or if you need to log off, thank you very much from everyone in, the, in all the teams coming together on this, on this project. Um, you definitely made it what it is. And, and um, yeah, excited to continue on this journey. Just keep wandering. <laughs>